the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Angelus, the angel of the Lord, declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh. And dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For, for forth, forth we beseech thee, thee O Lord, thy, thy grace into, into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, Christ thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us. Amen. And may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. A warm welcome to this Eucharistic celebration. This Mass is a Requiem Mass offered for the soul of Mrs. Matilda D'Souza, uh, who was 84 years old, wife of V.A. D'Souza, mother of Mohan, Preeti and Vinay, residing at Chandan Apartments, Chafikar Bandamarg, Mulund East. This Mass is also offered for the souls of Ronald Leo D'Souza and Flavia D'Souza, today being the month's mine. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, what is it that each one of us is longing for? What is it that we seek for? My dear friends, if you take a kind of a survey, you come to know that all of us, whether we are big or small, whether we are rich or poor, all of us seek, all of us long for, all of us look for happiness. We want to be happy in life. We want to be filled with joy. Let us pray during this Eucharistic celebration that God will give us the strength and the courage and the grace to seek and to fill us with that joy that all of us long for. And so to prepare our hearts to celebrate this Eucharist in a worthy manner, let us call to mind our sins, our faults, our failings, our shortcomings, and let us ask God for His mercy and His pardon. All together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, 
to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, oh Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, oh Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, oh Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Look with favor, Lord God, on our petitions, and in our trials grant us your compassionate help, that consoled by the presence of your Son, whose coming we now await, we may be tainted no longer by the corruption of former ways. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. On that day, there shall come forth a shoot from the stump of Jesse, and a branch from his roots that shall bear fruit. And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. And his delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see or decide disputes by what his ears hear, but with righteousness he shall judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. And he shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall kill the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt of his waist, and faithfulness the belt of his loins. The wolf shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the young goat, and the calf and the lion, and the fattened calf together, and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze, their young shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the cobra, and the weaned child shall put his hand on the adder's den. They shall not hurt or destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord, and the waters cover the sea. In that day, the root of Jesse, who shall stand as a signal for the peoples, of him shall the nations inquire, and his resting place shall be glorious. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. Lord. Days, peace and justice shall prevail. 
According to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At that hour, Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and the understanding and revealed them to little children. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. And no one knows who the Son is except the Father, or who the Father is except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Then, turning to his disciples, he said privately, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings desired to see what you see and did not see it, to hear what you hear and did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, the first few lines of the first reading taken from the prophet Isaiah speaks about or prophesies about the Messiah who will come, who is the son of, of, you know, from the root of David or Jesse. And then he goes on to tell us so many things about the Messiah. But very importantly, he says um, in the first few words, or the first few verses or the lines or the first reading, that the spirit will rest on this Messiah. Centuries later, we have Jesus coming. And the first lines of today's gospel, of course, the different version tells us, filled with joy from the Holy Spirit, Jesus acclaims, I bless you, Lord, Father of heaven and earth, for you know, reve from revealing these to mere children. Yes, my dear friends, centuries after the prophecy of Isaiah, it is fulfilled in the person of Jesus. Jesus, my dear friends, reveals the indwelling of the Holy Spirit through his words, through his deeds, and the joy that he experiences. 
And this same joy, my dear friends, is what each one of us long for. All of us want to be happy. All of us want to be joyous. We want to be filled with that joy. And where does that joy come from? Today's readings tell us that it comes from the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. So how can we get this joy? How can we be happy? My dear friends, all of us, all of us here have been filled with the Holy Spirit. We have received the same Spirit at our baptism. If we want to be happy, if we want to be filled with that same joy that Jesus was filled with, we have to allow this Holy Spirit, which is within us, to work. Let us just pause for a while. And while we thank God for the beautiful gift of Jesus, who gives us His Spirit, let us ask Him for the grace and the courage and the strength to allow this Spirit, which is within each one of us, to work within us. And then, of course, my dear friends, we will feel that elusive joy, that happiness in our lives. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, come we pray to our rescue with the protection of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just that you did our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh and fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation. That when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest. We who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which we now dare to hope. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. Therefore, we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world and bring unto the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and our Oswald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember Matilda de Souza, Ronald Leo de Souza, and Flavia de Souza whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who, are, who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. We remember in a special way the dearly departed members of our families, all our near and dear ones who have gone ahead of us. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. We pray in a special way for all those who celebrate their birthdays and anniversaries today. We pray for all those who have asked us to pray for them. We pray for members in our families, in our homes, in our societies, in our neighborhoods, our friends, neighbors, and relatives, people in the churches, priests, nuns in the convents who have been afflicted by this deadly virus, that all may return back to good health. We pray for the doctors, the nurses, the frontline workers who risk their lives daily to keep us safe. And we also pray for a speedy development of the vaccine so that all of us may return back to normal life. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, a spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Jesus, my dear friends, taught us to call God our Father, and so with confidence and courage we dare to say, Our, our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. 
that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we are with the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said, Apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look on our sins, one of the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us turn to one another and offer each other a sign of God's love and peace. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take away the, the sins, sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. healing and protection from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come for you asking for a quick control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. We pray for the doctors, nurses and attendants. Protect them. Bless those doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found. We pray for the government and health authorities that they may take the appropriate steps for the good of the people. O merciful God, Keep us safe and give us your peace. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Kindly stand. Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. This Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ to love God and to be filled with joy through the working of the Holy Spirit. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks be to God. God. Wake up, Christian, cast your fear, keep your lamps a burning. Lift your heads, the Lord is near. Let your heart keep yearning. Mom.